BTS fans, J-Hope is serving us some J-Beebs. Meanwhile, Chadwick Boseman is surprising emotional Black Panther fans, and Tiffany Haddish is still fangirling over meeting Oprah. What a time to be alive, folks. I know things seem bleak, but there's hope. J-Hope. Fans of the K-pop sensation group BTS, welcome to a treat this morning. J-Hope finally dropped his mixtape and a video for Daydream. But I'm sorry, ARMY, we're gonna hold on to that till tomorrow for New Music Friday. But in the meantime, J-Hope is showing off more than his impressive rap skills. He dropped a short rendition of mega hit Despacito again, this time after Billboard magazine asked BTS where is their favorite place to tour. 전반적으로 되게 핫했던 곳은 북미 남미 투어였죠, 진짜. 남미가 정말 뭐랄까. 그 약간 좀 에너지가 다른 것 같아요. 또 남미 왕자죠. 남미 왕자 이쪽 있어요. 파시도 파시도 수아바 수아바 파시도. 오빠 소모스 비디오스. 언제 나왔대? 아마 해. Uh, dare I say he sounds better than Justin Bieber? I'm just saying let's get BTS on a reggaeton track. All right, meanwhile, Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman gave fans the thrill of their lives after he surprised them with the help of Jimmy Fallon. And the reactions ranged from emotional. Well, for me, as the, as the mother of a young son, um, my son's childhood has been defined by Barack Obama and now Black Panther, so thank you. Hey. That's way too much praise. <laughs> Barack Obama. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. To downright comedy. I do have a life, but I saw it four times. I saw it once uh, with my girlfriend. Also, I want to thank you for having your suit on for most of the movie because when your chest was out, she was getting a little excited and I felt insecure, so thank you for that. Um, and it means a lot to see a movie that's not like a black movie, but it's just a great American superhero movie with uh, you know people that look like me, so thank you. Like, Yo. Oh! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? I'm glad that you got your muscles covered again. I'm glad that you got your muscles covered, because if you would have been all, all brolic and stuff, it would have been weird, because my girl would have seen him and be like, why didn't you get his gun? <laughs> Clearly, Black Panther has made a huge impact on folks out there, something that is not lost on Chadwick's co-star and, in my opinion, the fiercest of the bunch, Ms. Denai Guerrera. What about all the little girls around the country and little boys too who look at you now and say you are the fiercest warrior in all of Wakanda? You know, like they look at you as this fierce warrior, this superhero. Uh, you know, I mean, listen, the children are everything. They are absolutely everything. So in any way, shape or form, this rep representation can actually impact a young child in a way that makes them feel more validated or more empowered or more connected to their own potential or more aware of their own greatness. I mean, that's everything. What else could you possibly want more than that? Preach. All right, that was E.T.'s Kevin Frazier with Deny at Alfre Woodard's ninth annual Oscars Sister Soiree on Wednesday. It's there that Kev also caught up with Tiffany Haddish, who is clearly still shook after her surprise meeting with Oprah. People still can't talk, stop talking about you and Oprah. Was, did it really freak you out like that? Did it really trip you out? It touched my entire soul. I want, look. Okay, I, I want to hit her up and ask her what should I wear to the Oscars. Like, I want her to give me advice about everything in life. Ask her. Just ask her. Oprah, should I wear this Eritrean African dress to the Oscars on the red carpet to represent my daddy? Because my daddy from Eritrea, and he passed away. And I want to pay respect. I want to show the world. What you think? You think she's going to call me? I'm telling you, she's going to call you. I guarantee you. Oh, I'm obsessed with her. Well, we'll have to wait until Sunday to see what Oprah helps Tiffany wear to the Academy Awards. And of course, Jimmy Kimmel is jumping back on the horse as the host again, following last year's epic Best Picture mix-up. I gotta tell you, as a kid, I've always loved watching the Oscars, and then when that happened, it gave me life, folks. That was some damn good TV. But is it giving host Jimmy PTSD? Well, E.T.'s Kevin Frazier once again found out. You know, I dream about it every night. There's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Best Picture, Best Picture, Best Picture. Is there any PTSD? Um, no, no, not, no. In fact, it went great, except for the thing at the end, which, right. you know, turned out to be a, something that was interesting to people, you know? And I guess the, the worst thing the Oscars can be is boring, I think, right? What will be different from last year? 
It seems like every year there are serious things happening. Mm -hmm. This year it seems like there are nine of them all happening at once. So that's something that I think has to be um, handled, has to be balanced. But I also know that they have to memorize every single winner for every category. Yeah. For the first time ever. Oh, before the, yeah, well that's yeah, interesting. the show. I think that increases Did I just tell you something? You, yeah, I don't know anything. What oh, makes I, you think I know more than you? I thought you knew everything. <laughs> it's not my show, I'm just hosting it, and I, uh, I'm just hoping to be, on, be funny, keep the show moving, and have some stuff that maybe people will talk about the next day. Well, if the Oscars is your kind of thing and you got a horse in the race, then make sure you join me tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Pacific on ET's Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube channel for a live preview of Hollywood's biggest night. And if you've ever wondered how much booze these stars drink there or how much is the gift bag, I got that info too. So come check us out and I'll see you then. Goodbye.